This is the part where we say, don't try this at home. Research suggests that people who learn to juggle have a 3% increase in gray matter. Their brains actually grow. If so, assuming we ignore Chad's decision to juggle chainsaws, he must be a genius. Whether lightweight bats or 10-pound chainsaws, Chad's technique doesn't vary. Only the danger does. Seems like right when the ones in your left hand are coming down, it really, really puts an impact on uh, your yeah, wrist. It's I huge. I can't believe that, how well you can see that there. Wow. I mean, I always knew they were heavy, but it's really wild to see that. Somehow, this looks even more dangerous at 2,000 frames per second. If the spin isn't correct, Chad will miss the handle. But these aren't harmless bats. These have sharp, moving teeth. See him move? Even here, Chad is still not looking in his hands. By the time Chad ends his performance, 27 running chainsaws have passed within inches of his nose. Let's watch that again. Now, thanks to this warped footage, the secret of juggling is revealed. Notice Chad is looking straight ahead, never looking at his hands. He is in a zone of total concentration, total awareness, with his peripheral vision fully engaged with all of his senses keeping, well, all of his balls in the air at the same time. We talked about the increase in gray matter earlier from jugglers. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about doing this in terms of how smart it was in the beginning, but now that you got it working, I think it's a great idea. Yeah, well, the chainsaw juggling may actually decrease gray matter. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> and decrease everything if it cuts the wrong place. 